Ukrainian Mars destroys Russian S-400 defense system. A top Ukrainian official has claimed that Russia's most advanced S-400 air defense system is unable to intercept rockets fired by the American-made M-142 Himars multiple launch rocket system. Anton Gyashenko, the advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs of Ukraine, said in a tweet on July 11th that Russian S-400 anti-aircraft defense systems cannot intercept Himars rockets. Gyashenko did not provide any specifics relating to the failure of the S-400 system against the Himars rockets. Still, he said, Russian armed forces, their ammunition and fuel warehouses are unprotected from the power of American weapons. Gyashenko possibly referred to the series of Ukrainian attacks in recent days on several Russian arms depots in Donetsk, Lysikansk, and Kherson using the Himars MLRS system provided by the U.S. Shortly before Gyashenko made his claims, a Ukrainian portal reported that the S-400 could not shoot down a single Hamars rocket either in Donbass, Zaporizhia, or Kherson regions. Sensor.net reported that during an attack on a Russian military facility in Kartsysk and Donetsk, a Hamars rocket even destroyed the S-400 complex. So far, there is no documented instance of the S-400 system deployed in Ukraine. In April, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed to have used its S-400 system to knock down a Ukrainian Mi-8 helicopter 30 kilometers inside Ukraine's Chernihiv region, close to the border with Russia. If true, the S-400 missile was most likely fired from within the Russian territory, as the operational missile range of the S-400 system is up to 400 kilometers, and the surveillance range is up to 600 kilometers. Therefore, in the absence of any documented evidence of the S-400 system having been deployed or destroyed inside the Ukrainian territory, Gyashenko's claims could not be verified. Nevertheless, the Himar system has indeed come bearing gifts for Ukraine. In recent days, Ukrainian forces have destroyed more than a dozen major Russian ammunition stockpiles and supplies using Himar's rockets. The effectiveness of Himars on the battlefield has made the pro-Kremlin figures so nervous that they have publicly voiced their concerns. For example, a former commander of Russian separatist forces in eastern Ukraine, Igor Gherkin, said on July 10th on the Telegram messaging app that the Russian air defense systems, which relatively coped with attacks with the help of Tocheku and Uraganov, turned out to be ineffective against massive strikes by HIMARS, Himars missiles. More than 20 Russian ammunition depots in the Donbass region and Ukraine's south, including some of the largest, have come under Ukrainian attacks, with some destroyed, according to Ilya Ponomarenko, the defense and security reporter at the Kiev Independent. This recent wave of Ukrainian attacks has made the Russian forces feel the crunch in terms of munitions fueling Russia's artillery dominance in Donbass until now. A Russian military bogger Andrei Morozov, also known as MERS, was cited by Ponomarenko as saying that Russian troops were facing growing munitions hunger. As the number of 122 and 152 mm rounds are depleting due to recent Ukrainian attacks. There have also been some eyewitness accounts, such as from Roman Sapotkov. Another Russian military blogger who is embedded with frontline Russian forces and was present during a Hamar strike on Chernobyvka, Kherson, on July 9th, which made quite an impression on him. As it happened yesterday, I watched the Hamar strike on Chernobyvka, Kherson, almost before our eyes. I have been under fire many times, but I was struck that the package, five or six missiles, landed almost into a penny. Usually, MLRS fall over large areas and at maximum distance scatter in a fan-like manner, Sapankov said on July 10th in a Telegram post. It is clear that this is just the beginning. They will hammer on Kherson and other border towns. Belgorod in particular. They will cover all checkpoints and military facilities, data on which have been collected over the past four months, Sapankov continued. However, as of now, the U.S. has forbidden Ukraine to use Mars for strikes inside Russia, therefore, it is unlikely that Mars rockets would soon rain in on Belgorod. So far, Ukraine has received eight Mars units, with four more expected to arrive in the country by the end of July. <laughs>